Okay, so I'm going to start by opening Adobe Animate and making an action script 3.0 and then um, I'm going to set my document to 1920 by 1080p because that's usually like a standard size for videos these days, although you can do it at whatever size you want. And um, then I'm going to um, import the video and um, it's it says that it wants H.264 video, but I used an MP4 and it was fine, so it's probably fine. Um, the video, it's actually good to have a small video instead of a really high quality one. I mean, it makes it harder to see details that you want, might want to copy, but also it's a lot easier on the program. And don't include the audio because Flash does not like audio. Um, I'm going to reposition and resize that so that it's filling up the screen. And it, that took me like a stupidly long time. And um, so once I have that done... Okay, I'm just going to watch myself do this. Oh, that took me an awful long time. I actually cut part of that out and it still took me like 10 seconds in this video to resize that. So uh, trust me at your own risk. So I'm just going to scrub through the video to find part of it that I want to rotoscope. And um, I mean, typically camera moves look pretty cool if you're rotoscoping them. So a really dynamic video that's like a professionally like recorded concert is usually really cool looking or a music video um and like obviously if you want like character animation you're gonna want people um i'm gonna insert a blank keyframe once i find on the layer above it you gotta make a new layer um and i'm actually gonna change the the um frame rate to 30 frames per second because i'm pretty sure that's what the original was um the original video was filmed at because um, film is usually at 24 frames per second but live TV and like music videos and like stuff like that tends to be at 30 I'm not sure it really depends but I just kind of assumed that this was at 30 I, like I said I don't know but um, and then I'm going to start drawing on it on this new blank keyframe and um, you can play around with the brushes. They're not really like Photoshop brushes because this is a vector-based program, so just sort of play around with it until you find something you like. And then I'm gonna make another um, blank keyframe by right-clicking there. Um, I'm actually gonna do it every other frame of the original video because I don't really wanna spend my time drawing every single frame and it'll look just fine. Like most animation is done at 12 fr frames per second or 15 frames per second. It's not really a huge deal to like do it like that because nobody really notices like animation that's in twos or threes looks fine so um then i'm just gonna speed up the video of me drawing like 10 frames there so that way i don't have to find things to say for all of that and um so once i've drawn all the frames i want which you can draw pretty much however you want you can you can color them with other layers you can do just liner you can do it as simple as you want or as complicated as you want i'm going to select all of those frames and copy them although actually for this video i cut them but it's usually better to just copy things because that's then you still have the original if you need it so i'm just going to make another file and i'm also going to set that to 19 to 20 by 1080 and 30 frames per second because you want it to match the footage that you've just made obviously so um after that you need to um make new frames there because it won't let you just copy and paste into um blank space so you're going to want to make a bunch of blank keyframes um just by selecting it and right clicking and then you're going to um paste and overwrite um so then you have your frames you can export video um, and then you can just like look at these options and figure out what you want you can decide where you want it to export to you can name the file and everything and voila you've rotoscoped some video i like to get my videos from just from like youtube with keepvid.com there's probably other sites that work too you might already have video um so yeah that's what i do